If you guys want to win a copy of FIFA 18 on any console of your choice, all you need to do is leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below in the comment section, and subscribe to my channel, turning on notifications. Do those four things, that'll enter you into the giveaway, and I'll be announcing the winner shortly before the release of FIFA 18 in September. Best of luck, and let's go on into the video. Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome to episode 3 of my FIFA 18 Cheat Beasts and Hidden Gems player rating predictions. Now, for those of you who don't know how this series works, in each episode, I go through 10 players who are either high-rated silver cards, low-rated gold cards, or or maybe what some of those 80, maybe 81 rated gold cards on FIFA 17, who are either going to get upgraded to be a low rated, 75 to maybe 78, 79 rated gold card, stay the same, or be downgraded to be one of those cheap low rated gold cards. Now, in this series we're looking at cheap beasts and hidden gems, who you guys can go and include in your starter squads, because there's always a lot of great players who are cheap, low rated, and very sweaty. Think of people like Renato Sanchez, Callum Wilson, and Andre Gray at the beginning of FIFA 17. Everyone used them in their star squads because they were cheap, overpowered, and very, very sweaty. So those are the types of players we're going to be trying to find in these episodes that you guys can maybe go and include in your star squads on FIFA 18. So if you guys do enjoy, if there is anyone you feel is missing out in this video, either go and check out the previous videos, and if they're not in there, just leave comments down below, or you can just let me know in the comment section who you think is going to be a cheat beast on the next FIFA, and I'll try and include them in future episodes. So I will also leave links down below to all those previous episodes. Without further ado, let's go on, and the first player is going to be Nathaniel Ake, the brand new record-breaking transfer for born with 20 million pounds he broke their transfer record and they actually had a very very solid season last year they really punched above their weight and they were pretty solid especially at home and I think Ake was one of the key reasons behind that he was obviously at Chelsea but they loaned him to Bournemouth, he went back to Chelsea, and then they ended up uh, actually buying him permanently for £20 million. Pounds. And I reckon he's going to have a very, very nice low rate to goal card on the next FIFA. He was a silver, but he did get two informs, two silver informs on FIFA 17. So he's very, very likely to get that low rate to kind of 76, maybe 77, 75 rate to goal card. And he's going to have around 80 pace, decent manning, decent physical, and he's going to be pretty cheap as well. Probably around 5,000 coins or less. He's going to be an awesome player for cheap star squads. And you can also link him up to Asma Begovic, the brand new signing at Bournemouth as well. So that could be a very, very solid defence on FIFA 18. Next up, we've got Moussa Dembele. And no, I'm not talking about the Tottenham centre mid. Instead, I'm talking about the striker from Celtic, Moussa Dembele, who I think is going to get a low rate of goal card on the next FIFA. He was a silver card on FIFA 17. He had a very good season. He even managed to score against Manchester City in the Champions League. He was very good in the Scottish Premiership as well for Celtic. For that reason, I think a 75, maybe 76 rate of goal card is very likely. He's going to have a very good pace, very good agility and balance as well and also good shooting and dribbling and I expect he's going to be so so cheap simply because he plays in the Scottish League but you will be able to link him up to people like Lee Griffiths or just build a French team around him I think he's going to be very cheap and a great player to use in cheap star squads on FIFA 18 Next up we've got one of AC Milan's many new signings and this is Conti now I'm sure a lot of you guys won't have heard of him before he's not that much of a big name especially in terms of FIFA, I know he actually got a team in the season card but it was a silver on FIFA 17 but he was actually one of the best right backs in the Carlos UA last year, picked up a lot of assists and was pretty solid defensively as well and it's for that reason that Eastman and obviously going to sign him. I think he's going to get a great upgrade to being a low rate of goal card. He was actually pretty slow, he had around 68, 69 pace on FIFA 17 but I think he's going to get a really big upgrade and he's going to have some very good stats both defensively and going forwards and you're going to be able to link him up with loads of awesome players playing for AC Milan on the next FIFA. Next up we've got yet another player who was a silver card at the beginning of FIFA 17 however this one did actually get an upgrade to being a gold card and also picked up some informs and a team in the season guard along the way is Dwight Gale playing for Newcastle the newly promoted team to the Premier League along with Huddersfield and Brighton Hope Albion obviously as well and I think he's going to have a very very good cheap card on the next FIFA he looks very similar to someone like Callum Wilson was towards the beginning of FIFA 17. I reckon he's going to be very, very popular on the next FIFA. He's going to have the pace, the shooting, and the dribbling. And he's going to be very, very easy to link up. He's English. He plays for Newcastle. And I think he's going to be so, so popular on the next FIFA. And if he, if he carries on his form from the championship last year, could get some more upgrades, some more informs. I believe he was one of the top scorers, maybe the second top scorer behind Chris Wood in the championship last season. And I expect this card to be very, very sweaty and very popular on FIFA. 18 ultimate team. Heading back to Italy and we've got Juventus' brand new signing Bernadeschi. Now he's very very good in real life. Quite a young player as well. I believe he was playing for Fiorentina last season. Correct me on that if I'm wrong in the comments down below. But he was very good last season. He's a quick player. Very good at dribbling and he's got a great shot especially from range. 
He's got a very, very good free kick. And that translates into FIFA. He does have a very nice card. Good pace, good dribbling, good shooting, good passing as well. And I reckon he's going to be awesome on the next FIFA. He's going to get high links to so many great players. People like Rajani, I reckon he's going to be quite low rated and cheap, but a pretty good player on the next FIFA. And obviously, you've got the more expensive players like Chiellini and Barzagli as well. And so many great players in the Calcio A. And uh, I'm not too sure actually if he's going to be a right mid or a left mid on the next FIFA because he has actually received cards in both those positions on FIFA 17. So if you are a Juventus fan, let me know in the comments down below. I think he'll probably play on the left just because they have Quadrado uh, as their, their right side of player. But this card on FIFA 17 is actually a right mid. But I'm not too sure. But nevertheless, looks like an awesome card on the next FIFA. Also, he's going to have four star skill moves and I reckon it'll be very, very popular on FIFA 18. Back to the Premier League and we've got another player from the newly promoted Newcastle United. Now, this card here, I'm not 100% sure if he is going to get upgraded to be a gold card because he was a silver card on FIFA 17 but he did actually get a silver in form so that obviously shows he played pretty well and according to Fuji who is a very very good FIFA YouTuber for those of you who don't know I'll leave a link down below to his channel he's done a few videos similar to this he actually included Yedlin in one of his FIFA 18 upgrade videos and I just saw the card the pace just stands out so I just want this guy to get a gold card just because of how pacey he could be. 93, maybe even 94 pace. He'd be so, so overpowered on the next FIFA. If he was a silver, he'd be so expensive. So hopefully he's going to be a gold card. And if he wasn't Newcastle in the Premier League with this card, he'd be so, so popular and so easy to link into teams. He could link him up to loads of awesome players in the Premier League. And you probably see him in every other team on FIFA 18. That pace unbelievable. Heading over to Germany and this time we've got the RB Leipzig striker Poulsen. Now he wasn't the first choice striker obviously Timo Werner tore the Bundesliga apart last year. He was very very good and he's still only 22 years old but Poulsen another very young player did manage to score a few goals and get a few assists along the way and really did improve as a player and uh, he ended up getting I think one in form it was on the right. He did play a bit as a right winger did play a bit as a striker. I'm not too sure which position he will get this card on FIFA 18 but I believe he will get an upgrade just because of how well RB Leipzig played finishing second in the Bundesliga and he's going to have four star skill moves that's what he has on FIFA 17 he's going to have very very good pace nearly 90 good dribbling decent shooting and I reckon if you link him up to people like Forsberg maybe link him up to Bruma a new signing as well who has been included in one of these previous episodes of the series maybe Werner he's going to be a great player to use on FIFA 18 in your star squads and I think he's going to be very very cheap as well next up it's Poulsen's Danish teammate Nikolai Jorgensen and this guy was very very good last season playing in the Eredivisie he finishes the top scorer with Feyenoord, he did go on to win the league title. He was one of the main reasons behind that. And take a look at the card I've given him. I've given him an 80 rating overall because he picked up a load of informs and a team of the season card on FIFA 17. He was instrumental to them winning the league. So I've given him a big boost to shooting, decent boost to pace as well. And I reckon this card's going to be so cheap just because of the league and nation combo. But looks like he could be an awesome player, a really well-rounded striker. He's got the pace, the shooting, the physical, the dribbling, the height, and even the passing. I reckon he could be an awesome card on FIFA. The penultimate player in this video is going to be Quincy Promise, a slightly higher rated one, I've given him an 83 rating, could even be 84, maybe could be 82, that is what he is rated on FIFA 17, but he picked up two informs and a team in the season guard, I believe he was the top scorer in the Russian league last year, and just take a look at the stats, 90 pace, good shooting, he may even get a striker card as well because he did play there at some points during the season, good dribbling as well, 4 star skills, and because of the league, I reckon he's going to be quite cheap, even if he's 83, even 84 rated. And you're going to be able to link him up to a lot of great players. And also, you're going to be able to link him to countless players in the Russian league who are going to be so cheap and overpowered on the next FIFA. Finally, we've got another AC Milan player. And this one is one of the most expensive and biggest signings they've made. And it is Andre Silva. And according to Ronaldo, this guy is going to take over his throne for Portugal in a few years' time when he retires. Which is pretty big words from Ronaldo himself. But take a look at that card. Good pace. Good shooting, good physical, good dribbling, and he's also quite a tall player as well. So very, very physical, very strong, good pace. He's going to be very hard to get off the ball, and he's going to be a good finisher in the penalty area as well. So if you guys do like target man players who can hold the ball up, people like Benzema maybe, this guy's going to be very similar. And I reckon he's probably going to get maybe an 80 rating. He picked up a few informs and a team of the season on FIFA 17. And you're going to be able to link him up to loads of awesome players in the Kelsey way next year. And I reckon he's going to be an awesome player on FIFA 18. There we go, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed episode 3 of my FIFA 18 Cheat Beasts and Hidden Gems player rating predictions. If you don't see any of the previous episodes, there'll be links down below in the description. And if you don't want to see any other players who haven't been included yet in the future episodes, let me know in the comment section down below who you want to see and I'll get them included in those future episodes. But I do hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe if you're on your own here. I do want to try and hit 50,000 subscribers before the end of the year. That is 
my goal. So if you could subscribe, that would be very much appreciated. But I hope you guys did enjoy it, and I will see you in my next video. Take care.